So immune senescence and its connection to uh, various fatigue syndromes and aging. Um, immune senescence refers to the condition of aging and deterioration of the immune system. The reason it happens is probably, at least in part, due to infections like Epstein-Barr and CMV. The way that this happens is that, let's say you're 16 years old, you go out on a couple of dates and you kiss your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you end up contracting mono. Mononucleosis is almost always uh, the result of either Epstein-Barr or CMV infections. With an Epstein-Barr episode, the primary episode, you may end up getting severe mononucleosis or you may really be pretty asymptomatic, kind of similar to what has happened with COVID. Some people get COVID and end up in the ICU. Other people get COVID and don't even know they have it. And so you may go through and resolve that infection completely without any obvious problems. However, it will leave a percentage of the cells in your immune system infected with this virus. And just for the sake of discussion, let's just say that that's 5%. And now knowing that these two viruses are sister viruses to the cold sore virus, for example, herpes type 1, we know, people who get cold sores know that if they go through a period of extreme stress or they eat the wrong things or do the wrong things and stay up too late at night and whatever it is that brings those on, that they may get an episode of a cold sore. For some of us, that's just a really minor little pimple that comes and goes within a day. For other people, it can become much more complicated. However, let me just tell you that you go through Epstein-Barr exacerbations in a similar fashion that you go through these types of uh, exacerbations of herpes type viruses. But every time that that happens, then the Epstein-Barr virus puts out, creates, and starts to export more of its copies of itself. And as a result, it tends to infect more cells in different organs in your body. Most importantly, it's infecting itself. It's infecting the B cells that are in your tonsils or in your spleen or in your lymph nodes. And so even though after the first episode, you ended up with 5% of your cells being exacerbated, if every couple of years you get a severe, uh, activation, reactivation of Epstein-Barr, you can imagine that if every time you get this uh, reactivation, you infect another 5% of your cells, 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the line, you're going to end up with white blood cells that uh, have 50%, 75% of the populations are basically useless they have been infected with Epstein-Barr and they've been rendered uh, unable to mount an immune response to other things in your body. And so this supposedly leads to the older people being more susceptible to cancers, which normally your immune system would go out and take care of, some infections, and this may have something to do with our lifespan and the limitation of it is how many times can we go through these reactivations of Epstein-Barr and be able to come out on the other side with a functional immune system.